Jesus, we thank you this morning for your sacrifice, for your body broken for us. It's our desire this morning to activate our remembrance. You said to remind you, I mean, you said to remember you as often as we would. So I say every day is wonderful. So we break this bread. Remember, your body broken for us. By your stripes, we were healed. You are wounded for our transgressions. You are bruised for our, our iniquities. And by your stripes, we were healed. I know the world is going crazy trying to forget you, but our desire is to remember. Remember where we came from and where we're going. So we eat this bread this morning, receiving health and wholeness. I thank you for our new teeth. Thank you for my new eyes. My eyes being well and whole. Mm -hmm. New eyes. Thank you. That we are whole from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Eyes to see. Eyes to see you. That's what we want. We want to see you. So I thank you I received that this morning. Total restoration for my eyes. Mm -hmm. For my husband's eyes. Total wholeness. Thank you. That we can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we really appreciate the blood of Jesus poured out. That He redeemed the whole human race. That You laid all of the judgment for sin upon Him. And He bore all of our chastisement, all of the punishment. So we thank You, Father, and we rejoice in Your <clears throat> in your proposal. And we say yes to the marriage cup. And so we drink yes. this this morning, fresh and new, saying yes, we are your bride. And we can hardly wait till you send Jesus to come get us. What a great day that would be. And a lot of people are saying there's going to be some preliminary catchings away to prepare the main body. So we say hallelujah. Let today be the day. Thank you, Jesus. Good evening, Miriam. How wonderful. there. <laughs> she's, she's dog whispering now. This is not double eggs. These aren't double eggs. Alright. Second, second Thessalonians. Right after second breakfast. That's right. I had second breakfast. Mm -hmm. I had a Clementine Mandarin orange, and now I was having some pecans. Pecans. <laughs> pecans. Let's, uh, we're in chapter 1. Let's back up to verse 7. 
When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. First Thessalonians chapter one verse seven. Wait, let me just finish oh, first. Second Thessalonians chapter one verse seven. Are you sure? No. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Oh, the last half of verse 7. Oh, you got to say that too. Not the first half. I'm like, what? It does not. It starts with the word and. In <laughs> flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And how do you obey the gospel? I don't know. You believe it. You just believe it. You believe that it's for you. Who shall be punished with everlasting the dog is licking my hand under the table. You must have got something good on it. Salt. Who could have let him eat the bread? You know? No, he's he's looking for affirmation. Oh he's been scolded. You know? Mm -hmm. Just ignore him. Just standing straight under the table. <laughs> he feels protected. Yeah. He's safe from the evil daughter. Evil, evil one's dark gaze. <laughs> I can't see lick my knee. Now my pajamas are wet. <laughs> oh, joy. Will well, they? Especially if you get information. Stop rubbing you. <laughs> Dogs are funny creatures, they really are. Mm -hmm. Alright. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. Because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in Him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow! I don't think I know anybody that believes any of that. John Crowder? He shall come to be glorified in His saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Hmm. Wherefore, we also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness. That is so awesome. It's Can you imagine? Cool. All the good pleasure of his goodness? We can't even imagine. Taking pleasure in his goodness? Where was he? Oh, fulfill all the good pleasure. That God would fulfill all the good pleasure. This is God fulfilling His good pleasure in you. And the work of faith with power. <clears throat> so do you suppose that means that one, what God wants to happen is He wants the demonic scales to fall off of our eyes Yep. And for us to realize what we were create, what God yes. created us for, uh, yes. and He, and then He would go like, "See, this is what you wanted to do, or this is what 
this is and he could fulfill all his good pleasure on you but he can't if you don't believe it he's blocked mm -hmm. he's he has to wait for you We saw this video this morning on YouTube of this angel coming down in this mall overseas somewhere. Just like descending from the ceiling? <laughs> right down to the... He crouches down with his wings out like that. Yeah, oh, I, it's like he came down so hard that, of course, his wings dropped to the floor and then they got back up. But it was like he ducked his head. <laughs> right there. Yeah, dramatic. Yes. Yeah, just and then like he goes... A movie. <laughs> he shoots off. Think it was real? Yeah, uh, I do. I do. I do. I think so. Oh, cool! I want to see it. Okay. It was like that. He was in this massive thing, and he had to come, and he got knocked down, and he went, <sighs> and then back up he goes <clears throat> into the the brawl. I've really seen some movie where somebody with wings lands um, with one knee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very dramatic. Uh -huh. Is he wearing a shirt? You it's could, all white. It's it, hard to see. There's this dark plate. You dark, can see his head. Yeah, where his head is, but everything else is white. And you can kind of make out the outline of his wings. Yeah, you can see his wings. It was just glowing. And that our pets are my buddies. Or these tolerate each other. Now the reason he's doing this, the reason he wants all of his good pleasure fulfilled in all of his goodness, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you. That's what it said. Mm -hmm. God wants the name of the Lord Jesus glorified in us. And you in him. both ways. It's God's glory for you to be in Him and Him to be in you. According to the grace of our God. It's not your works. You don't earn this. Uh -huh. All you can do is believe it. That's all you can do. You can't make it happen. You can't produce it. All you can do is believe that it's true. And that's our labor. That's our work. And he, he talks about that. The work of faith. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of an oxymoron, I guess. I think it's talking about God... God's work is to put faith in you. That's the work of faith. That He works it in you. All you have to do is say, I'll take it. And He goes, Phew. and it's yours. But if you stand around, if you stand around the edges and you go, sure about this. The birds are enjoying your bird seat, Michelle. I threw some out on the cement out there. Underneath the window. I was awakened by the doves this morning. No, we could always film out the window too. As long as you keep a very large amount of bird seed available. Right. Yes. Yeah, if there's bird seed down there, they'll just fly around in the trees and stuff. So thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wow. We just we just don't pay attention to this book enough, I'm sure. If we would just focus on it just a little tiny bit, it would make a huge, ginormic difference in our lives. Well, Father, uh, we want to we want to pray with Paul here. He says that he prays that God would count us worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of His goodness 
and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in us and us in Him, <clears throat> according to the grace of our God. Not our works. The grace of our God. So Father, that's what we're looking for today. That's what I'm looking for since I already have my wife. I'll just look. I'm not looking for her anymore. But I'm looking for you, Father. I'm looking for your grace today. That's where it's at. It's uh, hooking up with your power. Up to where the other one is. There we go. If the coyote comes down the trail, I can see him. It's such a handy trail. <clears throat> it's the highway to heaven. None can walk up there but the pure in heart. Amen. It's the highway to heaven. Or the Walking highway to hell. The kings highway. The highway. No, we're on the highway to heaven. Hopefully, the neighbor will drive his four wheeler around. <laughs> Well, the highway to hell is paved with good intentions. What do you think paves the way to, them, to heaven? The blood of Jesus. Uh huh. The blood of Jesus. YouTube, you can't ask my dad certain questions because he'll give you not a playful answer that is intended to go along with the actual question, but the actual answer to your question. Which is a good thing, yes, but it's not very much fun. The blood of Jesus. <clears throat> Father, we're, we're hooking up with, with our brother Paul here. And we're saying, okay, we will obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. We will believe Thank you, Father, that you are so good and that you desire to give us all the pleasure, all of your good pleasure and all of your goodness. Like uh, my wife was saying, that it's the goodness of God and that the parable that Jesus told are you are you uh, what does he say are you angry that I am good that's not right what does he say are you do you know where it is <clears throat> why are you angry that I am good I don't remember what the parable is yeah, it's probably in Luke are you not good something because I am good Oh, what did that lady say on the radio yesterday about First John something? Or other? Yeah. Well, Lord, I don't. I think it's wonderful that you're teaching us about your goodness. Here it is, all through the. It's all in the book. It's like every ever letter we read from Paul, is he's just exclaiming and proclaiming your goodness. Maybe that's why the church don't read the Bible. Because <laughs> it always talks about how good you are. Well, the ministers twist everything. I just think it's wonderful, Father, that you would work this work in our hearts according to the grace of our God. Oh, that's wonderful. So we just want to rehearse that this morning. Sorry, you two, if you get tired of, of hearing me rehearse it. <laughs> I need it. I, I guess I forget. I don't know. I just think it's wonderful that we can, we can extol the virtues of our God. That He is so wonderful and He is so awesome. And then He's, ex he's extended that awesomeness and that grace and that goodness to us. And we can participate in it. So, Father, we just declare that this morning. Yes. We say, kingdom of God come, will of God be done. This is the will of God, that you abstain from fornication, and that you always give thanks in everything. That was the last book we just read. That was First Thessalonians. For this is the will of God, that you abstain from fornication. 
amazing. So I thank you, Lord, that, that Paul, that he had courage. He just he told it like it was. You took him to heaven and showed him all this cool stuff, and then he came down and just turned the world upside down, which is wonderful. Which I guess he turned the world the right side up because it was upside down. Right. The, de the devil does he everything turned it absolutely there. backwards. He does everything backwards. So whatever you hear the devil saying, you just make this little motion and you go whoop, and you just go whoop. And you flip it. Whatever he says, you flip it. Whoop. Whoop. Just whoop it There's down. a couple more doves. Aren't they cute? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so Father, we're looking for the Holy Spirit today. We're looking for the for the upper taker. Uh -huh. The upper taker. We're not looking for the undertaker. We're looking for the upper taker. So if today's Tiva Day, some the sparrows, some of the sparrows think today's Tiva Day. Oh, well, today. That okay. it's not a day you would expect. You don't think of the rapture on Valentine's Day. The first call on Valentine's Day. Saint Valentine, I guess, right? Mm hmm So Father, we want to love you the way you love us. Boy, that'd be something. If we could just tap into that just a little tiny bit, it would change everything in our lives. So we just rejoice in you this morning, Father. I, I extol you. We want to give you glory and honor. We want to say as far as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will bless you and encourage you and receive We want to receive all the gifts that you've provided for us so abundantly. So we just want to lay down all the garbage. <laughs> we want to lay down all the lies, all the, all the stuff that's not true. And we want to rejoice in you this morning. We want to rehearse all the good things that you've done for us in our household. We want to receive all the benefits and the blessings. Father, we say, give us this day our daily bread. Everything we need today, Lord, we're looking to your hand. We're so thankful that we have a warm house, that we have food in the refrigerator <laughs> and on the shelves. We're thankful that you've provided clothes, that we have coats. Even though it's cold outside, we, can, we have coats that we can wear. Mm -hmm. We're so, I'm thankful that we have transportation that you provided vehicles for us. In, in America, everything is all spread out, so we have to have transportation. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't live in villages anymore. Yeah. Which we probably should. We should live in villages. Little So we're looking for this new world that's coming. I don't think it's far away. But you said occupy till you come. So we want to go about today uh, brushing our teeth, sweeping the floor, <gasps> mowing the grass in the summer, whatever we need to do to maintain. Because our little brains can't handle both of those things at once. Mm -mm. We think, well, if he's coming back tomorrow, why do anything? That's what. <clears throat> that's how people are. <clears throat> so we're going to exercise discipline today and clean the house and. Pray for our families and listen to for your voice. How wonderful you really, really are! And I want to enjoy my wife today, and my son, and little Cindy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and all the all the birds that are jumping and hopping around the chickens and all the all the things you have for us, Father. What what an amazing world you made. And this next world is coming is <laughs> heavenly. heavenly. And then you say we're going to come back here for a thousand years and experience Jesus ruling and reigning. Uh, Joel Richardson has written a new book called When a Jew Rules the World. <laughs> I bet that was popular. Well, it just it's, it just it's just come out. Oh, I bet oh. that makes some people mad. Oh boy! And it's a the cover is a picture of Jesus from the back. Uh -huh. See the back. It's it. Mm. That's it. Just see his blonde, curly, brown hair. Right. Cool. So, he said it's his best book yet. So. I hope he hides. Oh, that's Richardson. that's not his real name. Oh, good. <laughs> so, Father, we we are excited that our big brother Jesus is the king of the world. How about that? All of us have always wanted to be royalty or celebrities or winners of the gene pool lottery of beauty or athleticism or born into rich households. So that day is coming. We're just warming up down here. We've got all of eternity to be the son of the king mm -hmm. and to enjoy all the benefits. So we want to get our brain in the right frame of reference today and we say, come quickly, Lord Jesus. We're encouraged that there's going to be a pre-rapture so that we can get ready for the big one for all, that everybody can come with us, that no one is going to be left behind that wants to be with Jesus. So, that first crew is going to be mighty happy. And then, I guess all the folks that are still here grinding it out with the devil, they're going to get tired of him. And they're going to say, you know what? I think Jesus would be better. And then a bunch of them will start repenting. And they'll decide they want to go too. I, I think so. Well, I think they will. Because remember what happened when Moses came back the first 40 days and there was all that rioting and whatever and fornication. Yeah, there's just all kinds of wild stuff going on. And when Moses made a threat, <laughs> everybody said, no, no, we want to come with you. <laughs> Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come to me. He says he picked up a sword. You gotta watch them preachers with swords. Yeah. When the preacher picks up the sword, somebody's in trouble. Reverend, shepherd must tend his flock <laughs> and at times fight off the wolves. So Father, we are excited that you have allowed us to be born at this time. That we get to see your coming. That we get to experience the goodness of our God firsthand on this planet. And we get to see the devil getting his rear end kicked all over the place. We can hardly wait. So we want to participate. Whatever we need to do to get ready, whatever we need to do to help others get ready, we will be glad to. We All we need is confidence, Lord. All we need to know is you're telling us and we'll do it. My heart needs assurance from you that it's you. I can think up a ten hundred things to do, but I don't know which one to do. So if I have confidence that what I'm doing is from you, we're good to go. We're off to the races. 
sons. I pray for my sons, my daughters, my wife, my family, that they would have revelation, God. Give them revelation about what we're supposed to do or where we're supposed to go. Lord, we want to we wanna be right on the front line. We want to be on the wave that you've got moving. We don't want to get left behind. We don't want to be sleeping and drunk, so to speak, on the world, on the wine of the world, and we get dull of hearing. We want to be sharp. We want to be listening. We want to be participating with you and those who are excited about your coming. So I just declare that today. And we want to enjoy you today, Father. All the good things that you've given to us in our household. Uh, I can't quite quote the verse right, but you said that you were looking for someone in the Old Testament who would enjoy the pleasures that you have for them. Um, and that you actually rejected uh, the Jews at several different junctures because they refused to enjoy the goodness of their God. They insisted on sucking on them the garbage of the devil. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Father, we're... Our desire is to go and flow with you. What a great day. So the chickens. And I and we haven't had a lot of snow this year, so and I if don't it's, mind. If it snows a little bit, that's fine. I would I, we will enjoy it. Cold we don't have to go out, we can sit in the house and we can enjoy the fire. Uh, and we can enjoy the warmth and the look out and see the beautiful snow. And we can we can relax and rest. We don't have to be go, 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 go all the time. So hallelujah. So Father, we want to say goodbye to our YouTube friends and uh, pray for this list of folks. And we bless them with, in the name of Jesus with all spiritual blessings, with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus, that they be lacking in no gift that they're not lacking in anything yeah. that they will have full measure of supply in every area I just had a flashback to FBC days so I thank you Father for ministering to every person all that they need Sending those mighty angels, like Paul prayed for the Thessalonians, that the mighty angels would minister to the heirs of salvation, uh, like it promises in Hebrews. And we just thank Him and praise You for taking care of our friends. And uh, we can't wait to meet, uh, who knows who's listening to this recording. Uh, and we would love to uh, hug one another and... Uh, Rejoice and celebrate when we get to heaven uh, because of the fellowship of the Lord.